Hey there everybody, Sage Apopham here, founder of the School of Evolutionary Herbalism, and uh, thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy day to uh, watch and or listen to the content here on the channel, really appreciate it. And uh, today's topic of discussion is germ theory versus terrain theory. Um, this is uh, a, a discussion that pops up in the, uh, at least in the herbal medicine world, quite a bit, and I'm sure it pops up in other, uh, I guess, alternative medicine um, spheres as well, in the sense of, like, why do we get sick, you know, when we're speaking about getting sick from some sort of pathogen, right? Do we get sick because there's germs that pathogenic germs that get into our body and make us sick? Or do we get sick because of the terrain of the body, the ecosystem of the body um, that is creating an environment that is then hospitable to those germs? Uh, it's kind of a, almost a chicken and the egg, uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg kind of question. Uh, and uh, I think this is an important thing to consider as herbalists because ultimately what this question in terms of uh, germs versus terrain is really a question of kind of allopathic versus vitalist approaches to herbal medicine. And I know uh, sometimes I can be perceived as being really hard or down on the allopathic approach uh, because generally speaking, we want to do our best to be holistic and vitalist. But I also feel like it's really important to acknowledge that there is a place for an allopathic approach to herbal medicine, right? There is a time when maybe you need to get in there and you need to be aggressive and you need to um, address things in that orientation, especially in, you know, very serious situations where, um, you know, you, you need to you need to use opposites to treat and you need to just kind of treat what's right in front of you and and uh, maybe working with the remedies that you have on hand, for example, just doing whatever you can um, to help a person out. Um, the most important thing I think as herbalists is that we're helping people, that people are getting well and getting healed, regardless of our philosophical orientation or our overall approach. Of course, we want to be considering the whole person as much as possible. Of course, we want to follow the vital force. Of course, we want to be holistic in our overarching strategies and approaches. But I do think there is a time and a place for an allopathic approach. Oh, it's shocking. I know I'm going to probably get a bunch of hate mail and, uh, you know, harsh comments in the section below, but I said it. Okay. Um, don't be too hard on me about it. Uh, because there is there is a time and a place for everything, and uh, and so in that way, this discussion of terrain versus uh, germ theory, um, it's interesting that it's versus as if they're opposites um, in the way in which this question was posed to me recently. And I think there's um, I think there's space for both in our approach and our understanding of herbal medicine. And for any of you that have been following me for some time now, you'll find that I always really do my best to find a, a middle ground, a common ground. Uh, I really strive to not be too extremist in my approaches to things. And I really like to see as many sides of things as possible and really come to uh, a well-rounded understanding to the best of my ability of different approaches to things. Um, and I think there's ultimately a place for all of it. And like I said, I think the most important thing is that people are getting healed um, with the plants, regardless of, of the approach. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this discussion on um, some of the similarities and differences and kind of a comparison contrast uh, to germ theory and terrain theory. And uh, be sure to take a second to like and subscribe and comment and share it with a friend. Uh, it really helps support the channel. And again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode here. And uh, I hope you learned something good in this discussion. Question number four from Ashton Greats. Hopefully I said that right. In Vitalist Herbal Practitioner Program. What are your thoughts on terrain theory versus germ theory? Oh, that's a really good question. What are my thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that both are true, that both have a place. 
my thoughts are that it is not one or the other. Um, germs are real, right? Pathogenic microorganisms are real, right? Um, but the environment in which they are able to thrive and survive is also real. Uh, you know, this was something that was always really like Matthew Wood was always quite adamant about in my educational process with him where, you know, he was very particular about the, the importance of the terrain, right? And I remember, uh, one of my teachers at Bastyr always said, the issue is in the tissue, you know, right? The issue is in the tissue. It is... It's like, okay, so for those of you that maybe aren't too familiar with this argument, it's not an argument, but conversation. <laughs> Why does it always have to be an argument? Um, is is that, you know, on one side you get people that are like, germs make you sick. And on the other side people are like, no, it's not the germs that make you sick. It's that your body was predisposed to hosting that germ like the eco the ecosystem of the body was such that it allowed that pathogen to thrive and then make them sick, right? So the terrain. Um, and so it's kind of like a chicken or the egg thing, right? Um, and yet at the same time, many pathogens tend to create the terrain in the body in which they thrive, which more often than not is dampness, but it could be different potentially. So... Um, I think it's, uh, it's important to consider both. Um, I believe the terrain is a very important piece because I think that's how herbal medicines actually work, right? Um, sure herbs and their constituents have been studied and shown to have antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, blah, blah, blah properties. Um, but they also predominantly work on the ecosystem of the body, right? They predominantly are adjusting or altering the ecological landscape of the system through their energetics, right? Through warming it up or cooling it down or moistening it or drying it. That's really where herbal medicines work more strongly. And so the general approach here is don't folk, you know, killing germs is an allopathic way of thinking, right? It's, uh, it's a very allopathic way of thinking. Um, changing the ecosystem of the body, changing the environment of the body is much more a vitalist approach, right? Um, because we're looking at the body's relationship to nature. We're looking at the plants and their relationship to nature and how when a plant enters the human body, it's those two natures influencing and affecting one another, right? Um, and rather than just this like very war, uh, warring approach of like, we gotta get the big guns out and like get in there and wage war on those pathogens and like, you know, uh, kill, 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 you know, it's like, okay, whoa, like, why does it all have to be like a war analogy, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, at times there are, there is, I do think, but at the same time, I do think there is a place for that, right? There are times where it's like, all right, we got to go to war. Like, we got to go duke it out with this pathogen because, you know, uh, it's intense. I mean, that's, that was the approach that I took, uh, when I got COVID, right, I was like, man, like, I don't, this thing uh, that everyone's saying, this thing's really serious, like, I better not mess around, so, but at the same time, keep the terrain in mind, right, so yeah, go ahead, wage some more on some bacteria, but don't forget your tissue states, right, don't forget to make sure you don't get too dried out, or you get too cold, or you get too hot, or, right, you got to keep keep them in balance. So I think that's the key thing is that they both have their place. Terrain is really the dominion of herbal medicine and you can think in terms of germs, but don't forget the terrain. Uh, I think that's very important to keep in mind. You know, and even with the COVID, right? It's like the terrain was key. 
even allopathic medicine is talking about it, right? Where they're like, oh, get, they get a really dry cough. Make sure you're drinking enough water, you know? Make sure you're staying hydrated. They're talking about energetics, right? So, um, and of course, our herbs are pretty incredible in the way that they work on the energetics of the body in ways that most allopathic um, medicines do not. So, yeah, great, great question there, Ashton. <laughs> 